Okay, uh, this is going to be a twofer. It's kind of a short subject, so we'll tie both of them in here, and I'll try to name it appropriately. Uh, the main part of this is going to be a front sight tool, and you really need one of them to do your elevation, deflection, windage, yada, yada, yada. Kind of simple, explanatory. This is an original, um, I believe this one is South African, Israeli one, look pretty much the same, sight tool. And it has got to take off or take out the firing pin and the extractor. Flat blade for your windage, the big screws on the gas block either side. And then it's got the cutout that you drop through the top of the globe. And it sits right like that on the post. So you can adjust it. Up or down, you know, it's like politics, it's ass backwards. Down is up, up is down, yada, yada, yada. Um, problem being, last I looked, to get one of these little tools, you had to buy a full freaking cleaning kit, and those things are usually 80 plus dollars for a cleaning kit that really ain't much of a cleaning kit, and the only thing good in it in my book is this. So instead of, uh, of doing that, my advice is to go to the hardware store, Take your front side hood or measure the hole through the globe. Buy you just a standard cheap screwdriver. And what you want to do is, this one's a little narrow, but measure the blade at the bottom, overall width, and make it where it will just fit inside there with some light grinding, which you can see I kind of ground the, the flare out on that down so it would fit. And all you do is take a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel and trench out the center to where it will fit over the top of the sight post, just like the originals do, okay? And like I said, as long as it fits through the hole, after you grind where that flares out, you wanna grind that down on both sides and get it where it'll drop in there. And then, of course, you've got the blade tips that you can go in the side of the, the sight screws and turn those. So that's a real cheap way of getting you a range tool to go with your rifle without spending that kind of money and going through the headache of finding, you know, that stupid thing. Well, not stupid, but expensive. All right. And the other one was a request video. This is obviously a front handguard retainer on the Galil. And we see the little cam lock, which I got it on the wrong side. What the hell am I doing? Let's see. There we go. And it just locks into place. Well, sometimes these things get in a bind and these are literally just a tiny little cast piece part and they're real thin. So you get that in a bind trying to fit a new handguard or whatever, you will snap these bad boys off. Well, what do you do then? Do you take your gas block off and, uh, you know, get another one of these and put it on? Well, no. I mean, look on the other side, you see the little hole, the flare, and it's crushed set into that groove right there. Well, support this thing and get you a punch and a hammer. And I'll tell you this, turn it straight up just like that or turn it like this, depending. If it's on the gun, turn it like this. If it's off the gun and you're just taking the rivet out, turn it like that. Support it underneath for the body, not for the rivet. Take your punch and your hammer and knock that thing out then all you do is take it out of that retainer and put it in your old, the one on the gun. Now you support this against a block and just barely set that. Don't wail on it because if you get it super tight, your, your lock's going to be hard to, you know, lock it down or release it. But yeah, just don't take it, your gun apart. Just get you another retainer and pull this out and replace it. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, two short videos. Both of them requested. Um, been watching my subs subscriber thing. I guess that's a big deal for YouTube. Uh, broke 100. Appreciate that, guys. The view count ain't half bad, considering we've been on there less than a month. And Oh, sorry, right at a month. And, um, yeah, I hope, like I said, the videos are helping you guys and not causing much confusion. If you got questions, you know, you can email me or you can call me. And... What do you know? There goes the phone again. <laughs> All right, that's a good place to stop. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back in a minute.